Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Claire, I'm a South East Queensland plant collector and I have a passion for arrows and pretty things and books. And this is a new series that I'm starting that combines all three. For the next however long it takes me to get through this, I am going to be going through with you the very notorious, but not in a bad way, book by Danny Brown, Aroids, Plants of the Aram Family. This book is very highly sought after. My understanding is it is out of print and therefore it is quite pricey. When I originally set out to buy this book, I did some Googling and a lot of the listings were minimum $100. The highest I saw was $2,000. And I am not going to spend that much money on a book. Probably ever. Plan? Maybe. A book? No because there are things called libraries, but this is a good book. So what we're going to do over the next however long it takes is go through this book together. I borrowed this from the State Library of Queensland. Thank goodness they had it. And I'm really excited to read this. I want to share that excitement with you. I want to go through the knowledge, the information, the teachings in this book, and I will use my own plants as examples when relevant. We will be going through this, we will be talking about it, we will be looking at pictures. I am very excited. Today, however, we are just going to have a bit of an introduction to the book, to the series, what to expect, that sort of thing, and we will really get into the nitty-gritty of things in the next video on this book series. Don't be alarmed though if you are not a book person and are not a learning person and you're just here for the pretty things. This isn't going to be a weekly series. I haven't decided how often I'm going to post videos on this book. I guess it depends on what else I have going on in terms of videos, in terms of my life, what other books I might be reading, how just engaging this is. And I'm sure it will be. That wasn't meant to be sarcastic. But I'm very excited about reading this book, but I can't make any promises about how the series is going to go, apart from the promise that it's not going to be over and done with by the end of the year in a matter of weeks. If you have never heard of this book, if you are not familiar with this book, then let's go through it quickly. As I mentioned earlier, it is called Aroids. It is about Aroids, plants of the Aram family, Aram family. I'm not entirely sure however you want to say it. This is the second edition that I have, and it is by Denny Brown. Now, this second edition was published in 2000. The first edition was published in 1988. However, what are we in? 2019, soon to be 2020. This book is 20 years old. There will have been changes because the world of botany, the world of horticulture, the world of plants, just like the plants themselves, is forever changing, forever being updated. For example, just recently, there was the confirmation of an entirely new species, Thormatophyllum, which had been, that's a whole nother story. The plants in the species, Thormatophyllum, will still be listed under philodendron and will be using their original philodendron names for those of them that change names in this book. So there will need to be little updates as we go along, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Another thing to note about this series is I'm not going to just be reading from the book word for word. I will be summarising, I will be adding, I will be analysing, I will be generally fangirling. So don't expect a dry public reading. Today it's, it's going to be a lot of reading because it's just, this is what's in the book. So this is what's in the book. We've got the contents. We've got a foreword, forward, forward, forward forward. We've got a forward to the second edition. We've got a forward to the first edition. We've got a preface. We've got acknowledgements and we've got an introduction. I have read the introduction 
if the rest of the book is anything like the introduction, then we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good. There are 10 chapters. We will be going through all 10 of them. Chapter number one is called Variations on a Theme. The subheading is What are Aroids and Where Do They Grow? Chapter two of Tales and Traps and the Underworld, Mechanisms of Reproduction. Woodlanders is chapter three, species of temperate woodland and higher altitudes of the tropics and subtropics. Chapter four is aquatics and amphibians, species of wetlands and water. Chapter five is a place in the sun, species of arid and seasonally dry regions. Australia will almost definitely fall into that category. Chapter six is in the shadows, species of the tropical rainforest floor. Chapter seven, towards the light, tropical climbers and epiphytes, which I think a lot of us will be interested in because I personally have a number of epiphytes. Aroid people, if you're watching this, I'm sure you also have a number of epiphytes. Depending on where you live, they may be the best for you. Easiest to grow, for example, our tropical climbers. I've got my Monstera siltipacana, which despite my cat trying to destroy it, is still the happiest thing in my house. We've got our various pothos that just have a good time. We've got your standard Hartley philodendrons that are also just doing whatever they want to do and they're pretty easy to take care of. So chapter seven, wait around for that. Chapter eight is the Titans, giant tuberous species of the tropics. Chapter nine is an acquired taste, aroids as food plants. And chapter 10 is acids and crystals, the chemistry and toxicity of aroids, which sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to that one. Then we've got aroids in cultivation, checklist of aroid genera, glossary, references, index. And then we've got some color plates. In total, this specific book is 392 words long, which gets us to the end of the index. At the very back, there is a little bit of a, I guess, bio info page on Danny Brown. It says she is a well-known botanical and horticultural writer and photographer. There are pages of photos in here, which we will have a look at as well. We'll mostly use photos when I don't have the plant myself. Just making it more fun. I'll use my plants if I can. And maybe, you never know, by the time I get around to some of the chapters, I might have some more friends. No, that sounds bad. <laughs> I might have friends. But I might have some more friends in the planter community who let me uh, spy on their plants. Anyway. The next video will be the introduction and maybe part of the first chapter because it's not very long. But let me know if there's anything specifically in this book that you want me to focus on or if you're happy to just let me tell you what interests me the most and hopefully educate you a little bit about aroids in the process. This is something that I want to do for me primarily and I'm sharing it with you because I thought you might want to know as well. Because this book is really hard to come by, like I said, it's out of print. It's expensive and I'm just really glad that it was in a library for me to read and I'm really excited. If you are looking forward to hearing more about Aroids, Plants of the Aurum family, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this weird little spiel slash introduction to this series. I will bring out a proper video about this book very shortly. And in the meantime, go stroke your plants. Have a great day. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.